Hello and welcome to the MACU weather page for this Tuesday, May 3rd, as opposed to uh, yesterday's Monday, May 1st. Uh, I think we got our dates all corrected now. You can see temperatures this morning in the upper 30s across mid-Michigan, in the low 40s across the southern part of the state, and even upper 40s down near uh, Blissfield and Jasper down near the Ohio border. And again, we expect a pretty nice day today. We're going to have plenty of sunshine to start out today. We'll have clouds increasing late in the day, and then I think we'll see some showers move in around the 4 o'clock hour across the uh, northern sections of uh, the MAC area, around 5 or 6 as you get further south and then closer to 7 to 8 o'clock across southeast or eastern lower Michigan as that cold front drops to the south. We expect a few showers, maybe a couple of thunder showers tonight into tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow looks like we'll have some scattered showers hang on for much of the day. And it's going to be a pretty raw day out there. You can see temperatures across the Great Lakes. Uh, temperatures in the 40s across the southern part of the state, 30s across the northern areas. And you can see very little wind with very little arrows showing up. Uh, this is from a couple days ago and certainly uh, the gateway to the Wild West out there. Uh, I believe this was from Monday. And if we look at the uh, next slide shot, you can see our normal high is 64. The normal low is 39. And if we look at the uh, next shot, you can see the soil conditions out there this morning. Uh, plenty of dew out there this morning. Uh, temperatures a couple degrees warmer than what they were yesterday across the area, especially in the 8 and the 16 uh, inch levels. Again, you can see no precipitation uh, since midnight. If we look at the uh, next slide shot, you can see this is the uh, running uh, uh, 2, 8, and 16 degree level or 16 inch levels of the soil. And you can see we're uh, after a pretty cold week last week, we start to improve this week. We're going to hit a little hiccup as we get into Wednesday and the Thursday morning, and that'll be quite cold. But from there, I think it's pretty smooth sailing above 50. Actually, the uh, two uh, inch uh, and probably the four inch is close to a 50 average here over the last couple of days. And again, we'll only see that go up quite a bit. Again, we'll have a little plateau as we get into Wednesday, Thursday morning, and then we shoot back up again as we get into the weekend with temperatures possibly getting into the 70s for Friday, Saturday. If we look at the next screenshot, you can see nothing out there on the radar this morning. The weather map, our low pressure system affected us is well off to the uh, east. We're under a small area of high pressure that will control at least uh, through much of the day. So again, today will be a pretty decent day. If there's, a, if there's any chance to get out there and plant, this would be uh, not a bad time to do that. With uh, moisture coming up over the next uh, week or so, looks like it's going to be a significant amount of around three quarters to possibly over an inch of rain here between now and next Tuesday as we have three systems that will be heading our way. The first one will be for late this afternoon into uh, Wednesday. Another one is we get into Saturday, Sunday. And then as the warm air tries to come back again early next week, we expect another uh, system that could bring us showers and thunderstorms. The one over the weekend could actually bring us some strong and severe storms, so that's something we'll keep an eye on. The, the shower and thunder shower activity we expect for tonight will certainly not be strong, as there'll be very little shear and not a whole lot of instability for this system work, but certainly a couple of thunder showers possible across the area. And you can see by Wednesday morning that low pressure system across the uh, all gray area at the cold front stretching back down towards uh, Jackson and into uh, Indiana and back off to the southwest. That will continue to move pretty progressively so we don't get a chance to get real warm or real cold until we can get some sort of a blocking area. And again, we're really waiting on that big upper ridge in Canada to eventually settle into the Great Lakes. And we keep seeing signs on the uh, long range that's going to happen. And then it kind of pulls back and then we see it again. So it looks like we're a little bit delayed on the heat for May. But uh, certainly May should end up being a pretty uh, decently warm month overall. And you can see by the uh, weather map by Thursday morning, that low pressure system well to our southeast will be under high pressure. And then once that moves to the east, uh, we're going to get a nice return flow of temperatures around 70 Friday into the 70s for Saturday. Over the next seven days, you can see precipitation amounts up pretty plentiful across the Great Lakes, anywhere from around uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter uh, across the area. But again, probably three quarters of an inch to an inch with the three different systems. So none of these are going to be very heavy rain producers. But certainly we're going to keep our soil moisture quite uh, wet here over the next week or so. As far as the 8 to 14 day outlook, you can see again, not quite as a, uh, a bullish on the warm air on these outlooks. But uh, certainly we're going to try to eventually move this trough out to the west and ridge building across the Great Lakes. But uh, so far, that's not really happened uh, as quickly as what we'd hoped. And you can see as far as precipitation near to below normal, 
again, but the next seven days are going to be quite moist. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, and 73s to all.